I was just talking to a friend who kept saying, I got to hold it together, pull myself together, get it together, move forward, get moving, get going. And I watched her and thought, you know, <laughs> I wish you'd come to the Wayfinder Life Coach Training because in there we learn a foundational skill, which is about the way people change or anything changes in nature. And this is not something that is just about pulling it together, getting it together and moving forward. Transformation, transcendence happens often after a period of stillness and allowing things to be as they are. And this is partic particularly true after you've undergone some kind of change or loss or shock or even a great opportunity comes your way. There's a moment when you're kind of, whoa, you have to stop and let your old life go away. And we compare this to a caterpillar just munching its way through life who one day, for some reason, decides, I'm going to make a tiny tent out of my own saliva and go in there and become something else. I don't know what they're thinking. Anyway, they do that. They create a cocoon, they go inside, and most people think that while they're in there, they get it together, they pull it together, they get the thin waist, they get the long legs, they get the pretty wings. Not at first, guys. Many species of caterpillar, the first thing they do inside that cocoon is to dissolve. Dissolve so completely that no cell is attached to any other cell. They, if you cut open a cocoon at this point, what you get is a liquid. It's the only case in nature of a liquid being an identifiable animal. But once it's all dissolved, it triggers something in the DNA of the caterpillar, which knows the pattern of the butterfly. And it takes those same cells that were a caterpillar and completely rearranges them like a stack of Legos into a butterfly, into something with wings. So the caterpillar never makes it out of the cocoon alive. The butterfly comes out as the angel of the dead caterpillar. And in our lives, when things change, even if they change for the better, there's a time often when our identity dissolves and it's disorienting and we often stop doing stuff. We're like, I'm just, I wanna be still. I wanna not think, I wanna not do anything. Our culture at that point says, pull it together, get it together, move forward. No, if you're in one of those situations, allow yourself to disintegrate inwardly so that you, you turn out to be a soup of yourself, you know? Because there's a great wisdom at work in you. And there's a part of you that knows the pattern of your next life. So the person you are now will not be the same creature that comes out of the process. If you allow it to cocoon and you don't try to cut the cocoon open and let things spill out all over, that would destroy the process. What happens is that you become your own angel. You grow wings and you come out as something that is a thousand times more beautiful and able to fly.